Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a review video of stock EL30 on the Samsung Epic 4G. This is the latest Android version for the Samsung Epic 4G Gingerbread 2.3.6. I'll hit menu settings, about phone. As you can see, build number Gingerbread EL30 right there, as well as 2.3.6 firmware version. So that would be the latest. I do have a video showing you how to install stock EL30 in case you would like to. I'll link to that video in the description. But anyways, some big updates to this. Well, not big, but minor updates would be Carrier IQ would be removed now. So Carrier IQ should be gone. Let's go ahead and check that out. I'll go to the Voodoo a Carrier IQ detector application, and it should uh, check check it says carrier iq was not found so there you have it no more carrier iq on the samsung epic 4g by stock so no more thanks to sprint big shout out to sprint for taking charge uh, i did notice some visual changes a couple as you can see the phone icon is a little bit different so as you can see right there phone icon has changed just a little bit um the quick application where is it well, Asphalt 5 is now a link to a download in the market, I believe, so it's not an application. And same with Quick, if you, I can ever find it. There it is, Quick Video. So those are just links now. They aren't actual apps anymore. So that's a little update there, as well as there's a speaker feedback fix. If you were getting that issue, uh, that is now fixed. Um, there's some other little minor changes. You can scroll through your home screens continuously. As you can see, I can just continue back, go all through these home screens as well as your app drawer as well. So you can continuously scroll through your app drawer. I believe this is new um, on this update version. One more also pretty big change is the incoming call screen. I'm gonna go ahead and test this out for you guys. So uh, bear with me, I'm gonna go ahead and call myself real quick. Let's see how this works. I'm gonna try and block my uh, phone number from popping up too, so hopefully uh, my finger's in the right spot. If not, I'll have to try it again. So let me call myself real quick. So here we go, it's ringing. Let's see if this works. And I did it, all right. So as you can see, very different. The number's where my finger is. Um, you'll see it now is an answering call. When you press on it, it brings up a little oval circle well half circle and you just swipe out of it to either ignore or answer so let's say I want to ignore I press on the ignore button whoops press on the ignore button and then swipe out so that's how that works so that's about it just about the only changes to EL30 on the Samsung Epic 4G, 4G. I figured I'd do a little updated uh, video review video so let me know what you think leave a comment on the video below be sure to subscribe to me follow me on facebook twitter and google plus all links will be in the description of the video and as always thank you for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up